Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Bendy and the Ink Machine. I'm just so damn excited to keep coming back to more and more episodes of this. Episode, like, part two of this chapter hasn't even gone up yet. I haven't even edited the damn thing. But Boris, you and I have, well, I have got to go and find some... Can I not? Can I not use the lift for this? Have I got to go around doing stuff on foot? I've got to find, like, what was it, like, oh, can we, was it, sw oh, oh, what were you, <laughs> were you one of these swollen ink monsters that I meant to find, where's my, uh, hunt down four swollen searchers, extra thick, okay, so we're going to be traipsing around on foot, how do I how do I acquire your ink? Do I just have to twat you with my syringe? I'm assuming that's what I need to do. And I'm assuming the old ink demon is probably still wandering around. So I'm gonna need to be wary of him. Oh, 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 fuck, oh fuck. Ah bugger. Oh hello. Okay, so the statues are the new gate things. Anyone want to pop up out of the ground and throw themselves at me? That'd be nice. Oh, there you are. Oh, I think that might have done it. Did that do it? I wish it would give me some sort of, like, kind of checklist thing to tell me if I'm doing things properly. Yeah. Gotcha. Ah, oh, right, there we are. Okay, so you leave stuff on the floor that I can pick up. Hello, sir? Back off. It's way too fucking quiet, and then you just popped up out of the ground like a dickhead. Yup, wondering if the ink demon's gonna show up anytime soon. Like the last time I said that, he was round the next corner. Oh, it's eerie. They're, they're, they're not showing up in all of the usual spots. So maybe some of their spawn points have changed. Oh, hi. Give me give me your glob. Oh, oh, you just disappeared. Oh, right. Presumably I need to sneak up on you. Got you. There we go. Good. Right. I shall. Boris, bring the lift back up, please. We've got things to do. I'm sure she was. Yep. You seem relatively unfazed by all this, Boris. You seem quite cheerful. I wish I shared your optimism. Right, is this the last of it? I hope we're done. Do you? What is it? And, ah, the old trusty axe. Destroy four bendy cutouts. Oh, that shouldn't be too difficult. That all depends on whether or not I can find any. Uh, just do the usual. We'll go floor by floor. Make sure we can find them. We'll take the stairs up and then we'll take the lift back down. Kind of getting into a little bit of a pattern with this, aren't we? Ah, oh, there's one. I'm wondering if, like, destroying the cutouts is going to really piss off the demon. Seems like the kind of thing that might happen. Still so damn quiet. Don't trust it. Oh, hi! And... Get out of it. Go away! Right, there's one over here. Bonk. Any round... This side? 
in this room. Oh, there's there's one of you. I right, can't get through there. I think that's about it for this floor, so off to the next one. Oh, we're back up to the top floor. Oh, right, yep, there you are. Hi! Then, ah, there's one over this side, so I need the lift up here. I mean, I could attempt to jump over it, but I don't think I'm going to bother. But if the last two are on this floor, then I'll bring the lift up and I'll come back to get that one. Should be one somewhere in these hallways. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, the trouble with this bit is you see so much of Bendy's face around everywhere that you forget that they're not all cutouts. Some of them are plushies, or some of them are just plastered all over the wall. But we've got one left. Let's get back down to the lift. Smack this last git here. Like, fuck off. Good. Don't cover me with your ink. And then I'm hoping that we're done with this. Because... Now that was fun. Oh, but I forgot to mention. What? He hates it when I do that. I would hide if I were you. Great, thanks. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there he is. Ah. Oh. oh, he's creepy. I mean, I reckon I could get to the lift and leave before he manages to get down to me. Don't know if I want to risk doing that, though. Boris, are you okay over there? I hope you are. Oh, he's menacing. You okay, buddy? You alright? Yeah, you seem okay. Don't worry. We'll get back down to level 9. We'll get we'll get this over and done with. We'll go out, we'll get out of here, and then we'll just eat bacon soup for the rest of our lives, okay? Alright, Alice, I wish to be done with this bullshit now. Oh, hi! Okay, well, I can do that. Kill the butcher gang. Oh, I see you. Oh, you got you got some lurkers coming along with you to as backup. Oh god. Great. Come here, you shits. <laughs> Oh, my aiming's off! A couple of lurkers following me. No, it's just you, you guys. Ow! What was that? Somebody got me and I don't know what it was. Fucking, how many of you are there? I thought there was only three. Wait, have you got, like, some sort of portal that you're coming out of? Do I have to stop that or do I just have to keep killing you fucks? I think I've just got to keep whacking you with, a, with my pipe. If that's the case, then I'm perfectly down with doing that. Whoa, come here. Ooh. Are we done? So quiet. Like a welcoming grave. I like the silence. Don't you? Yeah, it's alright. Oh, I can't leave any work unfinished. Fortunately, I have you to pick up the pieces. Oh, I'm glad I could be here for you. Okay. Take the lift down. Say hello to an old friend. Oh, we're going down to level 14. A little firepower. Eh? Take good care of it. It belonged to someone very special. Oh. 
<laughs> okay. You cheeky bitch. You tease me with a fucking Tommy gun. Oh. Oh, I don't like you, but I like you, but I don't. Punching in. Okay, we're going down. Let's see what we got going on down on level 14. What do you think, Boris? You think we're in deep shit? I think we're in deep shit. It's like the Ink Demon's Lair or something? What is this? Oh, these are the uh, the hearts that I need to collect or something, isn't it? Five Ink Hearts. Okay. Okay, how do I avoid this bastard then? What happens if I get seen? Do I want to find out? And who is the projectionist? Who is he in relation to everything else? But the most important thing is, how do I hide from him? And can he hear me slopping around here? Okay. Well, where is he? Am I able to use the, uh... Miracle stations to hide from him? I'm assuming that's what I need to do? This place is a maze. Ah! I see his light. Oh, which way is he going? Oh. Hmm. I think he's coming around this way. Yep. Oh, he's creepy. I don't think he can hear me. There's one. A second. There's a third. How many did I need? There's five, wasn't it? Oh, there's a fifth over there. Fuck, hide. Whoa! <laughs> Is he coming around this way? Don't think so, but I feel like I should hide here for a minute. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm gonna grab this heart. Ah, there he is. Oh, hi. Wait, do you? Okay. Well, I've got to wait for him to get out of the fucking way. Come on, off your sod. Okay. Okay.
Okay, we're good. We're good, let's go. Do not fucking dawdle there, Henry, me old son. Oh. Well, that was just ever so mildly nerve-wracking. <laughs> Let us get back up to level 9. Alice, can this be the last fucking thing? Please. Oh, I'm so glad. I did. Please don't kill me. Okay. I don't think I trust you. Boris, I'm in e I'm, I'm uneasy. What's happening? Ooh. Not once. I like to dream that it's quite beautiful. Oh, that's nice. A soft valley of green grass, blanketed by a warm sun. Oh, really? I don't think I'll ever get to see it. Are you ready to ascend, my little errand boy? The heavens are waiting. I'd rather not. Past level K. Whoa, God! Why is that? No! God. Oh. Boris. Boris, behind you. Boris, I'm okay. I'm okay. Boris, get out. Oh. Oh! Boris? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. Well, there you go. Chapter 3 of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Rise and Fall. Oh, jeez. That was a good one. Don't know... Like, story-wise, I enjoyed that a lot more. As far as the actual gameplay content, all the kind of running around the same areas for ages and ages, just trying to find various items and things and you know, all that. It was fun to start with. When we got about three or four times in, it started to get a little tedious. Overall, just fantastic, really enjoyable. I'm glad that the, the game has been developed and grown so much more, which is just really good. And from what I've seen, I started watching like some Let's Plays of like, you know, the early parts of the, uh, of the chapter, bits that I'd already covered. There are bits in chapters one and two that have changed as well to fit in with stuff that's happened in this chapter. So as new chapters come out and as new things change, the overall game, like the entire game, is being redeveloped to make everything fit in properly. So there are various bits in episodes one and on chapters one and two that have been changed up to match what have been happening in this one, which I think is really cool. You know, they've got some new areas that have opened up and all that sort of stuff. So I really like that they are spending that much more time. That's probably why this episode, or why this chapter took as long as it did to come out, was because they were putting more into the rest of the game. And they're likely going to be doing the same with, uh, like, chapters 4 and chapters 5. Uh, chapters 4 and 5. Oh, we've we got our post-credits bit. I want to see what this is going to be. Oh. 
The Ink Demon and the Butcher Gang. Yeah, there wasn't so much Ink Demon in this. I spotted him a few times and that was it. But there we go. Rise and Fall is done. And I'm eagerly awaiting Chapter 4. I can't wait to see more of the story for this. I can't wait to see what they're going to do as far as like continuing to change up the gameplay, whether they're going to be doing... I hope there's not going to be much more in the way of kind of fetch quests, but I mean, if we're if our like kind of friendly dealings with Alice are going to be out of the way, I don't know if we're going to have more of that or not. I would hope that we don't because I think this chapter had enough of it. I hope that something different comes along because the old song had like finding various things and then you know doing the uh, kind of plonking about with the um, the musical instruments and stuff and flip, flipping all the valves trying to get ourselves out and like you know there are there are consistencies with the gameplay through each chapter but each one has been significantly different and in the way that it feels and the way that it plays and I'm, I'm really liking that and I'm hoping that, that continues throughout the various chap or through the successing chapters but I don't want it to be quite so heavy on what was happening with rise and fall because, yeah, it did get a little bit tedious. It, you know, the, the last one with the Purple Hearts did change it up a little bit because of the, um, you know, hiding from the projectionist, which I thought was a nice little touch because he was creepy as shit. And I'm hoping that he comes back in chapters four and five or he comes back at least for a little bit. I also don't quite know what happened to Sammy Lawrence in chapter two. Like, there's no kind of... We don't know whether or not he's actually dead, because we didn't see anything. We, we heard it. And it's obvious the Ink Demon got to him. Whether or not he actually died, or whether he's been incorporated into the Ink Demon's army, or whatever, I don't know. I'm also looking forward to seeing if any, like, kind of theory videos are going to start coming out for more of the lore of this, but I probably not going to be until we actually get the entire story finished. But I've really enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to Chapter 4, and and chapter 5 following that as well. So I hope all of you have enjoyed this, and I'm going to be eagerly keeping an eye out for when chapter 4 gets released, and hopefully be picking it up as soon as it comes out, just like I did with this one. So I'm going to leave this episode off here, and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, be sure to hit that subscribe button, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. <laughs> Accidentally stood on the table, and every guard yelled at me. Oh, whoops.